You don't always need to wait for a short ball or hit an approach shot before coming to the net. In this video, I'm gonna show you how by hitting a high looping ball, you can give yourself time to get into a good volley position at the net. So if I hit the ball normal, I don't have very much time to get to the net before my opponent hits. But if I can loop the ball, now I have ample time to get up here and then volley the next shot. And as long as I think she's not going to take that loop out of the air, I should rush forward because she's in a defensive position. Now, if I hit this high loop with no top spin, it gives me a lot of time, but it's not going to push her back from the baseline versus if I can also hit top spin on the looping shot, I can put myself in an even more aggressive situation. Big top spin there. She has to go way back behind the line to get it. And so that improves my chances on my first volley. So if I'm rallying with my opponent and I wanna to get to the net, but they're not really giving me short balls, I can throw up a loop, push them back, and then set myself up for a volley because I have plenty of time to then move forward. Now, one final thing to be aware of on this shot is when you go to the net, you don't wanna to go too close to the net typically because with that looping shot, you wanna expect a high ball to come back. So if you're right on top of the net, the ball might get lobbed over your head versus if you're a little bit back, now you can handle that high ball in return. So if I wanna to get to the net, I loop it, I go forward a little bit. Now I have an advantage on my first volley most of the time.